E3 kids, it is so good to see you. I am so glad that you could join us today. So I am the one bringing the lesson today. I am Pastor Linda, for those of you who don't know me, and those of you who know me, hi again. So today's lesson is about Jesus healing a blind man, okay? So before we get into the lesson, let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for who you are. And thank you for all the boys and girls who are watching this. Thank you that you have given them life, you have given them families, and that you are protecting them. So Lord, be with us during this lesson. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, so the lesson today is uh, from the story of uh, Jesus healing uh, a blind man. Okay, so I'm going to read the story and that is in Mark chapter 10. So if you have your Bibles, if you don't have your Bible, if you are able to go while I'm talking to grab your Bible so that we can all turn to Mark chapter 10. Okay, Mark chapter 10. If you are using a tablet or a phone and the Bible is there, uh, you might have to just listen because I don't want you to, to switch off the the. the the video right now okay i want you to keep watching all right so i am going to read it it is mark chapter 10 from verse 46 to i think it's 52 okay so we'll just read the story so the bible says then jesus and his disciples reached jericho and there was a large crowd that followed jesus okay then a blind man, and his name was Bartimaeus, which really means the son of Timaeus. You know, he heard that Jesus was nearby and he started to shout, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. And so many people, because remember there was, so, there was a big crowd, so many people started saying, be quiet, be quiet, telling him, be quiet. But the more that they said, be quiet, Bartimaeus kept on shouting, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. He shouted even louder. And then Jesus heard him and he stopped and he said, tell that man to come here, tell him to come here. So all these people who were telling Bartimaeus to keep quiet, they had to go back to him and say, hey, Jesus is calling you. They said, cheer up, cheer up. He's calling you, he's calling you. So Bartimaeus was so excited, he threw off his coat. He was wearing a coat and he threw it off and he was running. He's a blind man, he's running towards Jesus. And then Jesus asked him, what do you want me to do for you? And Bartimaeus answered and said, My rabbi, rabbi means teacher, my rabbi, I want to see, I want to see. And Jesus said to him, Go, for your faith has healed you. And instantly, instantly, Bartimaeus could see. Wow! Boys and girls, wow! That is such an awesome story. What do we learn from there? What do we learn from this story? The number one thing that we learn is that Jesus loves us. Jesus loved Bartimaeus. And he stopped everything he was doing because Bartimaeus needed help. And so he loves you and I also. So anytime you want to pray and ask God for anything, guess what? He stops and he listens, okay? So there was a Sunday school song that I used to sing when I was a kid, okay? And I don't know whether boys and girls, you know this song, but I'm gonna sing it for you. It says, Jesus loves me, this I know. For the Bible tells me so, little ones to him belong. 
They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Wow, I'm going to sing it again. So if you know it, why don't you sing along with me? Jesus loves me, this I know. For the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Yay! Yes, Jesus loves you and I. Jesus loves you, boys and girls. Whatever you need, he is listening and he will hear your prayer, okay? So don't give up. You know, the people were all, all over Bartimaeus and telling him to keep quiet. Don't talk. Don't say anything. Keep quiet. And they were so rude. They were so rude to him. But Jesus stopped, okay? Jesus stopped and he listened. And what did he do? He healed blind Bartimaeus and he was no longer blind Bartimaeus, but he was seeing Bartimaeus because he could see, okay? So this is what I want us to do before we close off. I'm going to give you just something for us to do, okay? So if, if these um, things are close by, uh, I'll keep talking while you go and get some of these supplies, okay? So you're going to need a piece of paper, okay? Can you grab a piece of paper? So I need you to grab a piece of paper and some crayons, okay? Paper and crayons. Can you do that? So I'm going to give you some time. Ask your parents if they can give you a piece of paper and a crayon and some crayons, okay? So I'll give you some time and you go ahead and, and do that, okay? All right, while you are doing that, okay, while you are doing that, I'm going to sing that song again. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. So keep going to get that paper and those crayons. If you've got them, just sing along. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. So, now that you have your piece of paper and your crayons, this is what I want you to do. I want you to draw a heart, okay? I want you to draw a heart. Now, do you all know how to draw a heart? So it's very simple. So you just start and, okay? All right, draw a heart. Okay, and if you can't do it, ask your parents, okay, to help you. Or if you've got a big sister or a big brother, why don't you ask your big sister and your big brother to help you draw a heart, okay? Now that you have drawn the heart, I want you to write, Jesus loves me. I want you to write, Jesus loves me, okay? And then I want you to color it, whatever color you want, whatever is your favorite color. So you have a heart and you have written, Jesus loves me. 
If you don't know how to write that, it's on the screen. Just look at those words. Jesus loves me. Okay? And after you have done that, now you just color that heart. Whatever you want. And then after you are done, boys and girls, I want you to put it on your refrigerator. Okay? Put it on your fridge. Get a magnet. If, if your mom and dad have magnets for their fridge, get that magnet and put it pin it on the on the refrigerator so that every time you go to the fridge to to get some some food or to drink some water or whatever it is that you need to do in there you will remember that jesus loves you so i am so glad that you came and you joined in this lesson and uh, listen i am praying for you i am thinking about you and thank you so much for joining so let's pray before we end father in the name of jesus we thank you that you love all the boys and girls you love them so much and lord continue to bless them in whatever they are doing bless their families also in jesus name amen amen hey we'll see you next time Thank you.